Hey, what's up guys? Awesome back here. Another video. Alright, where have I been? I've been on the lake, folks. Been trying to figure out these crazy bass. Um, new AirPod deal here. I'm going to see how the audio goes and everything like that. That way I ain't got a monkey with my phone. But... Well, not last Monday, Monday before that, me and Ethan, we tore out to Cumberland, stayed up all night, went to church Sunday morning, stayed up all that day, stayed up all that night, left out to Cumberland, well, it was us miserable out there, it didn't do too good, had one keeper, I think that's the only fish we caught, um, it was us miserable, we couldn't think, we couldn't process nothing. We just couldn't get going, couldn't get in the zone. That's all it was to it. <clears throat> well, this this Monday, me and Ethan and Josh, we tore out to Cumberland. Actually got some sleep between the three of us. We may have had maybe seven hours between the three of us, if that. But we tore out to Cumberland. Had a decent day, call off fish. That's not what we was looking for. The things that we was looking for, we missed our opportunities. I had a behemoth come out from under a dock and just missed him. It, no excuse. Seen him, got kind of excited, and he hit it, and I think he sideswiped it because I never seen his mouth go open or nothing. I just felt tick, and that was it. When I felt that tick, that fish turned. So, I think he got spooked. I think he seen us or something. I just missed my opportunity. Simple as that. Had a really good hit on jig. Missed him three times. How I done that, I honestly think it was a small mouth. And when I felt him, I think it was spitting it back out. But the jig that I was using was a 3A ounce. DNL, it's called Bluegrass Crawl. And I had an Okeechobee Crawl Rage Crawl on there. This is a Rage Chunk, I think. But it was just one of them days where had the opportunity, just missed them flat out. Every one of us had at least one good bite that was a solid keeper. I had two that I know of. Josh had. One big blow up on a whopper plopper and missed one on a turd. And Ethan had one good on a crankbait. That was a hog. He couldn't do nothing with. But that's that. Um, figured them out a little bit too late. If I had a tournament this week, I would feel pretty dang comfortable. Because I got them patterned out pretty good. So hopefully next time I actually get to go they would be doing the same thing, but you already know how that goes. They are deep. They are lethargic. I don't know why. That water temp's still high. It's in the 80s still. We all went swimming beside Josh, but it's comfortable. It is moving down, though. So I'm expecting them to turn on here pretty soon. Pretty good to feed up for winter. But... We had a pretty good trip, had fun, just missed our opportunities. But one thing I am building, I mentioned this in my last upload, I think I did. And this is what I've got so far. As you can see, I got some rage, some rage stuff. Notice I didn't say rage crawl. I got me some rage stuff, got a little bit of zoom going on, some missiles, some reaction innovations. So y'all leave comments on what you think I'm building. Um, I'll give you a hint, it does have brush hogs in it. So you do it that, which you will. The brush hogs went from this box, which has rage crawls, cracking crawls, um, rage chunks. Notice I'm giving you hints on what's in here. 
Actually, heck, are. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. I'm building a flipping box, folks. Um, I went into the gun store just browsing around, and they are selling out of their fishing stuff. They've been doing this for roughly a year now, and they have a whole lot of crankbaits. So if you're needing crankbait to go there, they're 25% off. Everything's 25% off. Uh, line baits everything so i picked up four packs of rage bugs never have to do these in my life i got some crawdaddy it's like a black and orange i got some summer crawls i got some bama bug and last but not least alabama no this is bama crawl same thing alabama bama Oh, well, let's see here. Got some bandito bugs in here. This here's a something I found at Walmart. I thought it'd work. Kind of cheap. Like two dollars for them. For like five. I bought like three packs. They they remind me of a Zoom Z crawl in a way. But we're gonna be flipping that a little bit this coming spring on the old sea land. Got some brush hogs, avocado, green pumpkin, more avocado, more pumpkin. We got some D bombs, I gotta get more of. And reaction innovation sweet beavers, I gotta get more of. So, that is the only thing that I really gotta get more of. Obviously, more jig trailers. But. So, that's why I'm building while I'm building it. Just more organization. That way I know what I have. I know where it is. That way I ain't got a box stuff full and it's just cutting back on time. I ain't got to dig through 10 packs of Rage Cross to find the one I need or 10 packs of Zoom or whatever I'm using like I do my worms. I do try to do my worms by brand that way i know but other than that that's it folks that's all i got for you a little short video here um a little sneak peek at this box here this was my june and july box only what you find in this box is a lot of worms 10 inch worms eight and three quarter seven and a half big u-tails um like stuff like this T Mac worm by Netbait, All Monster worm by Zoom. Uh, let's see here, throw another in there. Missile Tomahawk worm. Oh, I actually like it. Got a little PB and J little deal there. But this was my flipping box here, so hopefully I can turn this into just a big worm box that way. I can leave it in there summertime and I ain't got to worry about it. But if y'all, well, actually I know y'all do. Y'all would love to know what I was throwing on Cumberland. Everything. Y'all always do. This right here, 3 inch smallmouth magic Kitech. On my heads, I'm making an eighth ounce. That was a big one for me. I spent more time throwing it, that jig, and this right here. This is a Copper Truce TRD by Z-Man. They are elastic. I love them. Those is my three that I threw majority of the day. I just rotated them. I did throw an S-Wave or some. I did throw a Spook some. And that was it. I did throw that Rock Crawler some. It just wasn't, wasn't for me to catch him on it. So, Ethan had some good hits on his crankbait, but that was it. So, that's all I got for you. But thank you all for watching this. Be sure to check out Center Target up here in London beside of Walmart for fishing gear. It's 25% off everything. 
I didn't see any rods, didn't see any reels. I seen a lot of line, a lot of good line. Berkeley, tri um, Berkeley Trilene fluorocarbon. That's usually like 15 bucks. They got it 25% off. They got Seaguar and Visex, Seaguar Red Label, all 25% off. They got a lot of your Strike King 10XDs, 25% off. They got DT 14, 16s, DT 10s, all 25% off. It was just nothing else there that I really needed beside the line. And I get my line somewhere else. But that's it. So if y'all need to, go check him out. As always, check out Dog Patch Trading Post Saddlebrook Outdoors, the Tackle Spot, and Kurt Singer Sunrise Outfitters. As always, give God all the glory. Be safe. Have fun. Have a good day. Do something nice for somebody. Please. Please do something nice for somebody. But thank y'all for watching us. Be sure to like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And if you ain't already, what's wrong with you folks? I try. I don't get to upload as much as some other YouTubers. I know I don't. I know I don't do actual videos of me fishing. I just think that's kind of boring. Because why watch somebody fish when you can do it? I'm more focused on helping you guys. Me going out, struggling, grinding it out, telling y'all, giving you feedback. Kind of like the Facebook page does. <clears throat> and showing y'all the products I like, why I like them, products I was using that day, and stuff like that. That's my main goal. <clears throat> but thank y'all for watching this. I'm out.